Hey, what's up guys? Matthew Costa here, back at it with another video for you. And today, I'm going to be talking about my home studio and the kind of project that's going on. So, first let's watch that intro. Okay, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've seen a couple photos or behind the scenes of this room, but taking a look around, you can kind of see that it's a work in progress. The thing I really want to fix up is this bed. So I ordered some sheets and I got a duvet and a whole bed set and an old mattress. It's a twin size bed and I have a little headboard here too. However, what I want is a bed frame. So let's make one. Okay, so it's not that easy as you can see I'm in the car. So I'm about to drive off and head to the hardware store. Have a great day. Okay, so I am here in the home studio room and everything's done. The bed frame's complete. This room is absolutely done and ready for shooting. Now, I do wanna say, obviously in the B-roll you just saw, I didn't show you the whole process of me making the bed or even buying all the lumber, cause you know, there's a lot there. I just wanted to show you a little bit of B-roll, but the bed's done. It's here, it's nice and solid. I'm super excited, so let me give you the tiniest quickest tour of my home studio. Super simple, really. Okay, so let's give you guys the quick little tour of my tiny studio. Obviously here I have my very, very bright video light that I was using just to illuminate myself. So you can see that, it's kind of blinding. Anyways, right here I have just a shelf with some camera stuff. I gotta find a better place for these blankets. I wanna get a nice chest, gotta put it somewhere along this wall, but for now I don't really have that. Uh, ignore the power tools on the floor. I was very excited to get this video out. Here is one thing that makes a huge difference and can allow for a lot of creative photos is a fan. This, even on low speed, creates enough breeze to get the hair nice and flowy and it, it's just gorgeous. So this is one of my favorite props. Got it at the hardware store. It was dirt cheap, like 25, 30 bucks. You should get yourself a cheap fan. Honestly, I really could not recommend a cheap fan enough for anyone shooting boudoir. Next over here I have, which is actually, this is a little planter. It's meant for plants, but I use it just to hold all my umbrellas and light stands over there, which they're being in use right now, so we can ignore that. Super cool, can just keep it in the corner. I can just toss everything in there. I don't know, it looks nice and the gray color matches the aesthetic of the walls. Speaking of the walls, one of my favorite things here is this mirror that I had put up. Again, I got this mirror on discount like a year ago because I knew it would be perfect for when I eventually set up a studio. And in the mirror, hello, you can see me. Brush, brush, brush the mic. 
Uh, so I just had this mirror hung up on some brass chain that I had cut. And again, it's just a little hook in the wall. It's actually using a drywall anchor, but it's really nice because it gives you a very clear view of the windows. And so this allows for some very nice creative over the shoulder poses. Moving on, we have our second set of windows in the room, which is absolutely huge. You can see the size of them. It really lets in a lot of light during the day. And these sheer curtains I had inst I installed up there diffuse the light even more. I mean, the glass already does, plus the clouds and the angle it has to come in. This just makes the light even softer, which is perfect for shooting in this room. It fills the entire room with soft, soft, soft daylight and it's gorgeous. One thing I would really recommend is a stool, just a tiny little posing stool. This one happens to be wood, but really you can use any kind of stool that would match your aesthetic. And what's really nice about these is you can just sit them down. I can put the model right by one of the windows here, sit on it, face their back to the camera. Gorgeous, gorgeous shots. Absolutely love it. I do recommend this as well. One of the all time most recommended props for a boudoir photographer. And of course we have the main attraction, the bed that I made. Now it's just an old mattress I got as a hand-me-down and the bed frame I made out of some rough construction lumber. It's just a two by six. You can hear it there. I sanded it up real clean, finished it with a nice clear coat and the bed sheet, this white set, which I think is gorgeous. I actually got on Amazon and it's just a nice feather duvet as well as clean white bed sheets. And it, they're actually really soft and comfortable. So if you are interested and you do shoot boudoir, I'll put the link to these sheets down in the description below. There should be a little Amazon link down there. Feel free to check it out. The sheets are quite nice. And of course, my favorite part of this bed is this headboard that I also made that I just attached using two two by fours, one on each side as supports. It wobbles a little bit, but honestly, it's pretty secure. And unless you punch it, it's not going anywhere. So this is my tiny little home studio. It's still kind of messy, again, with the power tools everywhere, but when it's clean, it'll be perfect. Okay guys, so that was my quick little tour of my home studio. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried really hard on this one, especially at that beginning part with, you know, some creative shots, editing. I hope you guys did like that. Please let me know what you thought down in the comment section. I will be reading all of your comments as I always do. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you really like this video and you want to be a superstar, hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every single week and I want to see you in the next one. Now, what are you guys doing? Get out there and create.